I've been playing this game for a week and a half, or like two weeks, which definitely makes me certified to do a tier list. So we're just gonna do it, and we're gonna commit. And honestly, bro, hold on, I gotta, I gotta change some things. Yeah, that's better. Every character has like five buttons and like three passives, so I mean, it's hard for me to say that there's more than two, three tiers. I guess it makes the game really balanced when you when you only give characters three things and they're like, this stuff that you could do, this is really fun. And then you give them a bunch of, ah, gosh, I hate this game. All right, out the gate, Yuji. Yuji's really good. He's really boring, but he does everything very well. His down medium, or his down triangle, his he has a great, um, he closes the gap really well. Auto combo's good. Having backflash be unblockable is really good. He does a lot of damage. He can break guard fairly easily. He's a great teammate. He has armored, an armored lariat, which is always good in a game like this, where buttons don't matter and your neutrals doesn't care. Especially if you're fighting against a Sukuna or a Gojo, this character is, along with like Mahito, maybe Nanami, you could argue, and a handful of characters, like really can actually like fight Sukuna and Gojo. Megami, Megami. So there's like a class of characters in this game where they, they have uh, puppets, right? And those characters are Megami, um, Aso and Kachizu, and then Yuda. And those are three are the only characters that can have com like can br have built-in combo breakers. I, I guess Mahito too, if you technically count the babies. But I think that that makes him like pretty good, but I think the stamina, the, whoa, the meter usage of of his summons and just the 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 managed you have to do a lot more to manage your curse meter and you really have like a steep hill to climb when building your curse meter he does have armor on some moves that i think that his his buttons are pretty good but i think that he's really not a character until you get the dog out new way is okay but i i feel like the dog new way yeah i guess new way is quicker but I don't think that he can outshine anybody in the S tier, and I feel like anybody in S tier, if you take the same character, like the same player, clone them, and then have them play against each other, I think that anybody in S tier can cook a Megami. Simply. No Bara, not gonna lie, I'm not on that hype train, bro. I, I know neutral's really important in this game, but I don't think that No Bara is like as crazy as people think they are. Um, I know that there's like a, I, I think that her the main thing in her toolkit that's really good is straw doll and then hairpin hairpin being able to like go through block and all that is really good however that requires a lot of setup and if you don't have a good teammate then your nabara is kind of useless because she's just gonna get jumped um that being said though she does have really good buttons great and neutral great keep away tools with her down medium which is the spread of nails um, her medium just being super long range and then the ability to stack a nail on somebody with an auto combo is always really good and I would say that makes her probably above Megami I would say if I can if I can if I can there we go Maki I don't I don't get it why do people think this character is good I'm perplexed I think she's trash I hear the I hear the statement the most combo variety combos don't matter that just builds your curse meter so that you can do more combos I guess and to be honest I guess mix is a thing but I, when it comes to like breaking guard I guess she can do that really well right but I, I don't think her damage payoff is worth it because by the time you've broken their guard, you've already spent all your curse meter trying to dodge and reset them or try to bait them into a button. Huh. So I think Maki's not that great. Like I don't, and especially since combos don't do damage, like there's no point to the combos because eventually if you have a good teammate, she's going to get jumped and I don't know, to me, she's not that good. Inomaki, I, I think is, is pretty easy A. He, I don't think he's as good as Megami and Arbara because I think that if you know when he's going to counter, I don't think the counter is like crazy. Granted, it does catch a lot of people, but it, I think it can be armored through. So guys like Sukuna, Yuji, um, Toto, and Panda like really don't care about that, but I don't think it like makes them, I don't think that makes Inamaki terrible. I think his combo combos are pretty good. And there's good coverage. It's not as good as like Gojo and Sukuna because they teleport, but it's okay. Inamaki's an okay character. Panda, Panda's so bad, dude. I think Panda's the worst character in the game. 
and it's it's simply because of his super that's an install right so if you if you don't know there's a point where you can or not a super you can push either r2 or r1 i forget which one it is but when you do that you become gorilla you turn to the brother or sister i forget what it was but when you when you do that there's an animation of you just standing there and then you get armor as long as you're the gorilla however the where i think that <clears throat> panda really struggles is when somebody runs away from him because he can just that drains your curse meter and then panda can't really do anything and the other thing is when you when you land a launcher in a combo so if you hit a certain point in your triangle circle or square co auto combos then that launches the character so something somebody like goji or sukuna because he has a really quick auto combo he can just smack you in the face and teleport and then that that has already beaten your armor and you're wasting more curse meter because you have to either wait to get up to keep your iframes or you're getting up to get punished by uh infinite cuts so i think that if if I were to change anything for Panda, I would make it so that when he has his install, that he doesn't move right away, so that you can at least get something off of him immediately using an install. Toto, um, so I, Toto was an interesting character for me, because I, I was, at the start of this, I was like, oh man, he's kind of trash, but I watched some videos of, um, I forget what it, who it was, some guy named Christian, I, I, I forget who I was watching that had him in, but I think that Boogie Woogie is like a kind of underrated. You have to really know what you're doing, but he's one of the few characters that can really displace where a character is attacking. And that's something that like is specifically can counter Sukuna Gojo, uh, Mahito, Jogo, all these characters that are a problem if you let them get too far away. Hanami too. I, I just think that having something like that is kind of kind of busted i don't think it's like i feel like toto's in a perfect place like if he never changed again i think he's he's he is exactly where he should be um and of course the armor lariat he has really good he's got good buttons good damage he can guard break pretty easily very good character i think if there's anything that i can say bad about him it's probably that guys like megami and, and uh megami yuta esso they are probably the only counter to that because their their um their puppets don't like um they don't care about being boogie woogie I don't think, but that's something to look into because I'm not t entirely sure about that. Okay, Gojo. Um, I feel like this this is a no brainer. Gojo is number two in the game. Uh, he has so much. You can play him. He's the most versatile character. He has the most um, teleports in his auto combos, which I think makes him really hard to punish because he can really. He it's not really. It's tough because I I think he can be plus a lot just by positioning. Um, red is really good. Blue is a good like um get off me tool in a panic situation. I actually think purple's not that great. Um, it takes a little long for me, so I'd rather throw out reds, though purple can catch a few people off guard. Um, kind of like fire arrow. I think fire arrow is quicker, though, and it has armor. Um, infinity, whenever he, uh, he can just be net positive at any, and at any point, and you can play the, the 1v1 game of you kind of just keep a guy locked down while you stack infinities for days while the other, while your teammate folds another guy. And unless that teammate tries to jump you, then... You're pretty much you're always gonna win that that um that exchange between somebody who's trying to get you unless you're fighting maybe a Sukuna because infinite cuts goes through infinity fairly easily. Nanami, Nanami, I think is uh, it's tough. I might switch him down to the the top of A, but he's really like on the cusp of like being A and S, like top A, bottom of S. Just because of his sheer. The damage that he does, I think, is underrated. I think he's one of the few people that can, like, scale up his damage if you do your crits right. The curse meter he gets off of his crits is ridiculous. I think that if you can hit those consistently, I think that um, he's one of the few characters that can really, like, counter these, like, neutral junkies, which is with, like, Mahito Ghetto, Joe Gohanami, like... Um, I, I just think that there's a lot of problems that he can cause for neutral characters because when he's in close, you can't really do much about him. And then his armored move is really quick, and if you can get the timing of that, nobody's going to hit you. <clears throat> okay, Yuda. So Yuda's interesting, where I think he falls somewhere up here. 
because he's he's really bad. I would say really bad as a character and when he doesn't have Rika. But the minute Rika comes out, that's a win con right there. So I think that because built-in combo breaker that does damage and gets you get saves you from combos. Um, you instantly get infinite curse meter. You uh, and to to the fullest of your curse meter, and I, the, the sheer damage that Yuta can do with Rika when she's out is just crazy. And it's really hard to beat uh, a Yuda and then somebody else alongside him. It's really tough to counter that. Which I think makes him like a top of like uh, probably middle of A when it's also never done. <clears throat> um, Ghetto. Ghetto, I think, is not terribly great in my mind. I think he does have really good range, but the startup, the startup of Sunbeam is really long and um even though it does really good damage i think that it's not terribly great for him i think that his buttons that create curse meter his circle's really bad i think it's really slow it's easily punished especially if it's perfect guarded you have so much time to just counter that um i would say that his range is probably his best quality like he can just throw kids at you from miles away and that's probably the best thing you can do as a ghetto but playing alongside that as a teammate is really hard to do. Granted, he does have an unblockable, any character with an unblockable projectile is really good. And having that so that you can just lock a character down and then go jump somebody else, I think is underrated. And I think that that makes him not a, in D tier. It makes him like really, really bottom of A. Um, Jogo, I think that a Jogo is a better than Inumaki. You could argue he's better than Megami, but I think that there's, I don't know, there are some issues with him. Um, domain expansion is, uh, is really good for him, although it is not, it is significantly more easy to punish it than with Mahito and, and Gojo. Um, I think that, albeit he does have an unblockable projectile, which in a game like this is absolutely cracked, his... Um, start up for his damaging moves aren't great with the exception of purple fire. Purple fire is really, I think is because it's so quick is really good. Um, auto combo is great. He has great buttons. I think that the trap, the, the set play with his, um, trap volcano is really good. And I think that that puts him solidly in the middle sub or like later half of a. Um, we're going to go, okay, we're going to shift some people up here just to make it look cleaner. Hanami. So I hear the, the complaints or the, um, the, uh, cries for help that Hanami is bad. Um, I don't think Hanami is as great as people think she is. I think her neutral and Oki takes a lot to get started. And I think in a game where she wants to play Oki, the game really punishes you for trying to put pressure on a character on knockdown. Because of those iframes being so active, I think that being able to just um, tall jump and then just get out of her neutral, it's just, it's kind of busted. She has good keep away tools, but uh, if you're, if your guys like Mega Me, you don't even really want to get close, really. You just kind of want stuff to hit for you. Nabara doesn't care, Yuda doesn't care. Toto kind of does care, but I think Good Boogie Woogie's make up for that. The only character that she really kind of struggles against is like, obviously the Sukuna Gojo, Yuji, Hot Nanami. I think you could argue that some of these melee characters would struggle with, an, with a Hanami, but I feel like if you have a good teammate, then you could counter that pretty easily. <clears throat> okay, Mahito. I think Mahito is better than Yuji. I think he's number three in the game. I feel like Mahito with um, Domain Expansion is really good. Um, the kids, the cursed babies are just so demons and neutral and absolutely can wreck a crew. I think running running a train on people is great. <coughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But Mahito's, I, <laughs> jokes aside, Mahito having armor is so good i think that his auto combo is great and he's the only other he's the only character other than i think toto in certain i forget which move it is mahito is the only character that can do damage off of his combos which i think should just be in the game in general fight me on that but 
I feel like that because of that, he's able to squeak in damage that other characters can't. I think he's he's kind of busted, and that is why I think he is number three in the game. Aso. I think Aso's crap. I think that Ketchizu, being a built-in combo breaker, he's a main source of your damage. He can really help you in a situation in neutral when you can't really play it. I think that Aso's buttons themselves aren't that bad. I think his square, his auto combo is pretty good. Circle and triangle are really good. I don't know if, I don't think he has any armored moves, but if he does, that's cracked. I, his super, um, or just um, being able to buff with the poison and all that, I think is really good. And I think that Aso is an underrated character because nobody wants to play him because he looks boring as fuck. Why is he in this game? Okay. Y'all know what's going on. Sukuna is the most busted character in the game. I don't think I need to explain this terribly so. Armor on auto combo, that's two buttons, and you get damage out of it right away. Having a cursed, um, being able to knock your, your friend out of harm's way, I think is really good because the iframes are so cracked. Um, his triangle and his stomp building up so much curse meter, fire arrow and infinite cuts you can just spam to your heart's content at a certain curse level because you'll have armor on it. Sukuna just does not care about neutral, he does not play to the other standards of, of other characters. Intimidation is busted when you circle and you just stop opponents in their track and get a free hit. Free curse meter absolutely broken, needs to be changed somehow. Um, if I were to change anything there's it's kind of tough because if you change a lot about him then he's the worst character in the game but i think you need to take armor off of his damaging moves like fire arrow and infinite cuts should not have armor in my opinion i i'm down for you to keep armor on his domain expansion because that's that's his alt and it'd be really hard to get off if he didn't have armor however things like infinite cuts fire arrow should not have armor and i honestly i would switch the armor from his auto combo onto his stomp because then you're more encouraged to play the game that the devs want you to play which is build up curse meter throw shit out that is my opinion though this is the saddest tier list i've ever seen i think this game is going to be hell the fact that they've already released announced dlc for hidden inventory is crazy to me it is lazy I despise this game, but I love the property at the same time. Hopefully that this game has some goodness for it in the future. But that's the tier list. Love y'all. God bless.